Typical Artists and Lillian Holman present Greenhouse. Letter 9. You need Ingrid Bergman in your life. Dear A, I realize I'm writing to you before you've had a chance to respond to my other letter, but honestly, I've been feeling so bad about what I said that I wanted to get it out on paper and in your hands as soon as possible. I was talking to my brother about the whole thing, and first of all, he loves you and is totally on your side. Not that I'm bitter. He didn't think it sounded like you were pitying me at all, so I guess that was my fault for taking it that way. He also pointed out that I tend to get like this every July. Not to lean into my tragic backstory too hard, but my mom passed away at this time of year after a couple of really painful weeks with us as caretakers. It means that even the shifts in weather and July 4th ads on TV put me into a bad mood since they remind me of long hours pretending to watch soap operas with her and really just taking stock of her every movement and thinking the absolute worst. Now that Dad died in June, I can't imagine I will be at all tolerable until back to school season going forward. It wasn't right to take it out on you, though, and just like with the damn cinnamon rolls, you were just trying to be nice. I wish I could tell you about my week in order to make up for my last letter, but I haven't really done much. I've mostly been worrying about what I said to you and re-watching Drag Race. The problem with that is that any time one of the drag queens gets mean, I'm just reminded of me and I just feel worse. Talking to my brother did help a bit, but he's a bit distracted because his wife is due in about a month and he's going into full panic mode. I kind of want to be there when the baby comes, but... Anytime I think about even the smallest bit of planning that would take, I feel a tightness in my chest. He says they'll bring the baby to me as soon as they can, but I feel like it's the sisterly thing to do to be there, and I feel guilty that I can't seem to work up the nerve to do it. I realize it was for times like these that my dad thought one of those therapists would help, but it feels too late now. I guess this is just the first time in a long time I've really wanted to be anywhere else. Okay, um, moving on before I get too self-indulgent. I recommended Psycho last time, which was mean. If you want to be creeped out, just watch Get Out, and otherwise it is all truly not worth it. I therefore think you should follow that super sweetheart of yours and watch some more Cary Grant movies. Bringing up baby is a good place to start if you want something funny. And if you want something super sexy, watch Notorious. Something tells me you need Ingrid Berman in your life. You may also want to watch some Like It Hot, because that has some truly iconic Cary Grant impressions in it. He's a good man to fixate on if you're going to swing that way. I personally watch all of those for Katherine Hepburn, Ingrid Bergman, and Marilyn, respectively. I get the feeling you're watching for both. No matter what, Have fun and forget all the cynical things I said before. You're a kind person, and there are too few of you out there to be spoiled. Sincerely, Rose. P.S. I'm working on some more modern fun recommendations as well. Crazy Rich Asians is very romantic, and there are lots of flowers, so maybe try that. You could also always do a little women adaptation marathon. No, you might like it. Greenhouse is a production of Atypical Artists. It was written, directed, and edited by Lillian Holman. Alex Marshall Brown is the voice of Rose Green. The show art was designed by Emily Chen. Greenhouse is produced by Lauren Chippen, Brigham Snow, and Lillian Holman.